If you think that sovereignty really resides in the United Kingdom, then the referendum on Scottish independence ought to have covered the whole United Kingdom. But it didn't. Why didn't it? Because I suspect the Scots wouldn't have accepted that. So if they wouldn't have accepted it and you concede it, who's got the sovereignty? Um, as soon as you concede that, it seems to me you have conceded in practical terms that sovereignty no longer resides for Scotland and Westminster, and the same by extension must apply to Wales and Northern Ireland. In fact, we've explicitly said so in Northern Ireland, haven't we?